Hello and greetings. Welcome to video number two on ISP config or uh, configuring an ISP config. On this video, we're going to learn how to start using setting up um, basically clients. It was the system set up as a client base per se. So you could actually even, uh, if you have hardware that, that can support it, um, you could actually even set, have resellers. We're gonna, again, we're going to HTTP, it's already there. We're going to log in, admin, and remember whatever password you enter. So the, the very first thing you're going to start doing is first creating a client. So the, this layout is kind of the way you're gonna go, not quite, we're, we'll probably jump around for a little bit. So under client, okay, so once we're here, what we're gonna do is click on add new client. And obviously the more you feed the system, the better it is to manage it as the system gets bigger. Because granted, just keep in mind that this can be sell, used as a to resell, for billing and so forth so it's designed for all that um, so the more you feed on it the better it is company name I'll call this um, if you notice it's not required but I'll just go ahead and enter it uh, freelance tech.com and then um, so the contact info is going to be uh, free freelance tech and I'll show you how you want to um, I'm just doing it this way so you can kind of get an idea as the system gets bigger uh, this contact name is very important and this username so I'm gonna call contact name and uh, username it's gonna be the same thing let me go ahead and set up the password okay okay and then uh, theme is gonna be defaulted the next thing you, you are required is an email. So it's going to be uh, webmaster at freelancetech.com. And remember, this is just for, for this tutorial, so none of this stuff is really active. Um, and that's it. But you could see, you could keep track of a lot of stuff. Um, because the more you feed on it, if you need to do billing and so forth, it's the more information you have is the better. So we're going to save it. And now you have this 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 one customer here, the username freelance tech. Oh, I got the wrong the wrong uh, country. Oops. So we're gonna go to United States. There it is, and we're gonna save it. Okay, so now we got the right one. So now once we have a, a client, now we can actually start setting up either more resellers. We're gonna continue with this one and bring a couple sites on online and to this particular customer. Um, and then I'll show you how we, we start um, segmenting as the we go deeper into the videos. Now that we have a client, now we can actually set up websites. So uh, remember, what is key of a website is uh, FTP accounts because that's how you're gonna be managing uh, the sites themselves for the most part and actual databases if you are going to have databases for the most part a lot of sites now require or need a um, database so let's go ahead and jump in so website we're going to click on add new website and you notice the server will always can keep on coming up here if you have multiple servers you would actually select it here um, but on now under client you would set up who the client can be so if you have multiple clients you could set up where which their sites are going to be ahead of time and then once they're set up then away they go um, the IP address is going to be the same or you could actually set it to which one is going to be my local one um, I don't, I'm not using version 6 and then what the name of, of the server or the sites going to be I'm going to put call this one um, ISP config dash tutorial tutorial dot net okay um, and then on this you could actually choose what you're going to give them for the most part I'm going to give them everything if it's going to be the so 
on here PHP you tell it what it which PHP you're gonna be using I'm gonna be using um, the fast sig um, and then that should be fine um, you know the auto sub the WW is gonna go straight to this one so this or the WW will will give you the same result um, I'm gonna okay I'm gonna save this but now before I finish it, I'm going to go ahead and go back. So I'm going to open this. And redirect would be if you want to redirect it to something else. Uh, we're going to skip that. We're going to go to SSL. Um, here, you would enter your whatever the state that you want the certificate. So every site can actually have their own, their own SSL. And it's easier to manage when you can actually see it. So this is going to be Texas, Houston. Uh, freelance tech so you could remember on video one that if it's, it starts actually making sense the same thing so unit would be IT country would be the United States or whatever country you're in um, there it is and you'll notice that there's nothing here under keys and so forth at the very bottom you would actually tell it to create. Now, if you have your own key, you're still gonna need to create a certificate first because to be able to generate um, any kind of linking, it has to, you have to have had a key already ahead of time. And you notice this red spot right here that's kind of blinking, that's new, that's a, that's a new feature. It kind of tells you how long it t takes for the updates to kick in. So we're gonna let it. We're gonna let it finish. Okay. So it took me about ten more seconds, and you see how it's gone. At this point, we could actually go back to the same uh, site. If we go to our SSL, you'll notice that now everything's populated, and this is what I'm talking about. That you would actually take these keys if you need them, and move them around. Um, whoever you buy the SSL either to commando or any other provider um, they'll walk you through that part if you need help let, let me know and I set these things up all the time so now we're, what we're gonna do is at the bottom we're gonna select save certificate because remember we created one but in all honesty we don't know if it's really saved it's we just created it so uh, at least on the older versions I would have to actually save it so it's just a habit at this point. So you can see how the actual, it updated very fast. So now the site is up, uh, is up and running. So if we were to type, or excuse me, if we were to, to actually go here to, what do we call it? ISP config, um, paste and go, is actually going to give us an error. I, I use actually to level three's uh, DNS. I don't use Google's. Go figure. Um, so it tells me it can't find it. Um, so the reason behind that is to the world, this site doesn't exist, obviously. How you would actually get around this part is under your DNS. Now you have to also create a DNS. We, we already set up a client, we set up a site. Now we're ready to start creating. Um, but you know what? Um, on the DNS, I'll move. I'll actually, we'll do that on video three. The video is getting a little bit long, um, so I'll definitely see you on video three. Again, uh, subscribe, all that good jazz, thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next videos. Thanks a lot.